they're completely you know, and I, but I like and I didn't go to frat parties or anything like that. I was yeah. like, you know, whatever. But what I do realize is I had a guitar, you know, right. and what a guitar does is it gives you a lifeline into a social situation where you don't have to imbibe in anything. You can play music, you can sing. I would be at a party because those were the people that you wanted to be with, but you didn't want to have to have this, that, those situations. And I would be like, okay, you know, everyone would sneak off, you know, they'd go to some pop, they'd come back, they drink, they come back, you know, and I'd be like, okay, let's play a song, you know? Yeah. And they'd be like, what do you know? What do you, you know? And we would sit together. And I have a friend, his name is Vincent Rodriguez. He gives guitars for free to children. Um, he raises money for it and he does it. It's called Smiles I Can't See. And he and I hooked up together through somebody. Um, and because I was teaching and I was live streaming from my classroom and a friend, Corinne Thompson, said, you know, oh, you guys should meet because he and you would really, you know, do things together. So anyway, um, I raised money for him for a couple of things as well. But now what happens is he'll say to me, you know, first of all, do you know any kids that need a guitar? And if they are more my way, he will send them to me and I go and deliver it. And if, there you go, and if um, I, you know, if I know of some, if he, you know, so when we work together, but it's his mission to give guitars. And what I always tell those kids when I give them the guitar is a guitar is a, like a lifeline. Like when, you know, because some of the kids are little or they're teenagers or whatever. It doesn't matter. Right. But what I'm trying to say is when, you know, it's your, it's a place that you have your emotions. It's a place that can get you out of bad situations. Because when you have an instrument in your hand, people don't care what you do at the party. You know, you don't have to you know, do anything at the party. You don't have to do drugs, you don't have to you know, do any of those things because you are there to play music and you are there to do another thing that has nothing to do with like the, I don't know, the things you don't want to participate in. And I always like felt like- How many guitars have you given out you think? Um, he's given out- he has, No, no, he's given out 200 and something, 200 of almost 300. But what happened was he's only been doing it for five years. Right. And so what happened was his, um, the office that he works for, it's lo yeah. lovely. And um, what happened was his office gave each member of their staff like $500 and said like pay it forward. And he decided, because he's a musician as well, to buy a few guitars and started giving them out. And he ended up having like a heart attack and it was a change of life and this whole idea, you know, so his mission literally is to give guitars to kids. Mm -hmm. And I've, you know, I've tried to be like a little, one of his elves, you know? And I'm like, so if you, of course, know people, or if, you know, yeah. if somebody knows somebody that needs and wants a guitar, you know, it's not, like I worked in Cheshire, Connecticut. Yeah. Cheshire, Connecticut is sort of an affluent area. Like I'm like, nope, you know, these kids don't need, their parents can buy them a guitar. Yeah. And you know, it's not just, so it it doesn't need it doesn't need to be explained, but the idea is that it goes to somebody, you know, where it will benefit them. And some of the people can't afford them, but you know, they just don't have one. It's okay. Like he will find a way to give a guitar to somebody. And I don't I think it. people have um, abused it in any way. That's really. awesome. Yeah. yeah. So he is out there. I can link him to you know whatever we do today. So I'm sure you've been asked this question too. Sometimes you sometimes you'll be at a gig or something like that. And and, and some kid will be out there dancing, and, he, and you, you go, you talk to the parents, and say, hey, I really love music, and, and he goes, maybe we should get him a guitar, and he goes, how old does he have to be to be a get a guitar? It's like, right now. Yep. Right now, yep. he's good enough. He's giving him five-year-old, six-year-old. But, but, six but, but he's only five years old. Doesn't matter. Yep. Give him a guitar. Yep. He'll, 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 he'll surprise you. Yep. So um, I, I um, hooked up at the Buttonwood, when I met Vincent for the first time, we um, we gave, we had a program where we had kids in Middletown come, and they came to the Buttonwood for a free lesson. And I had a friend of mine, Bea, who's an amazing guitar teacher, I actually take lessons from her as well, and she was willing to teach the first lesson to these kids. And so seven kids came, they all were given a guitar to use during the lesson, but they were all given a guitar to take home. And it was so beautiful and there are lots of needy places like that you know where it would be lovely to be able to give like a handful of kids and they were all 
some of them, you know, eventually, like, who knows what they did with them, but some of them also, yeah. it will plant a seed, and I oh, believe in planting seeds, you know? And, and some of them, and you know, what I say is, like, when kids are playing, it's like, you know what, give them a guitar, even teenagers, like, even teenagers, like, you, they play it for, you know, for, for a few years, and they put it down, they'll always know that they can play a guitar. Yep. You, you'll be surprised at how many is like, they play it, you know, from 13 to 16, then mm -hmm. they put it down, and guess what? 21, they go, you know what? I'm going to take that back up again. Anyways. Yeah. I was just going to say, when I was when I first started teaching, I worked with, um, you know, kids with needs. Um, I'm special ed certified as well as regular ed certified elementary ed. And um, so I worked with a student blind, right? A little, little boy, like three or four years yeah. old, right? He used to roll marbles down the fret of my guitar and try to make it make that noise when it clicks into the, you yeah. know, into the hole and it would like the sound and when his um his a you know like um his advocate came you know to say like what are you doing with this kid he likes this he could you know the sound yeah. of it rolling mm -hmm. down that sound yeah. and, she, and and i was like there you go you know we made a connection that way that kid was so enthralled by that sound and wanting to do that and that's how we you know started our work together, you know, which was amazing.